It is summer here in the Midwest. I am at the Killdeer Plains Wildlife Area, and I just heard a yellow warbler. It is uh, a cooler day. It has been in the 90s all week. Today, it's actually in the 70s, a welcome change. I wondered if I would have an episode. I have been here for a little while. I have not been able to get some good shots. Like this female common yellowthroat, for example. It was backlit and I had to do a little editing to get it where it's at, but not the best photos. Dense foliage. Uh, Shots like this are frustrating. Uh, hides the birds, making it very difficult to get decent shots. However, however, I have not given up. I think I'm going to go try. Did you hear it? I'm going to try to find and photograph that yellow warbler in this area I am in right now. Here's a view. Where's that music coming from? Beautiful. I know the yellow warbler is right in front of me in the tree line. I'm looking for it, but... I'm also just looking for movement, something rapid, faster than a leaf, darting through the branches, and then I see it. I chased the warbler with my lens through the leaves, and then it flew to a bare tree, and I was able to get these shots. so happy to finally find that little warbler. Then I saw a juvenile brown-headed cowbird. It appeared to be watching me with great interest as I chased that little warbler through the trees. Well, it looks like the activity is finally picking up. Next, I decided to explore the area around Pond 33. As I walked toward the pond, I heard a morning dove. It was near. And soon, I found it. It's a perfect day. All units stand by. Super photo mode in five, four, three, two, one. Super photo mode! <laughs> There's a great blue hair on. Right over there. Great blue herons like to remain perfectly still when they fish, but insects were mercilessly harassing it, flying around its head. It just couldn't remain still. Can you blame it? I'm gonna try to get a photo without scaring it. Yes! In the next photo, you'll see a fly on its head. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, this is a typical summer outing. Spring is over, mating season is pretty much over, and the birds are busy nesting. And though I can hear them, I don't see as many as I did during the spring. I think the key is to stay moving, 
look for movement and hope for some good luck. Yeah, that's what it boils down to many times. Luck. Look, listen, and hope for luck. Right back there, I just got a photo of an indigo bunting and a few other birds in this area. Here you can see what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. The birds are really in there among the leaves and it's difficult to get clear shots. You really can't blame them for trying to stay cool. Soon a dark cloud appeared overhead and this indigo bunning came out on a branch and looked great against the gray background. Now that's what I call luck. There is an angry common yellow throat and it's right back there. It's flying all around. It's very small and I have been trying to get some photos. Here's what I got. <laughs> common yellow throat warblers like this little male are tiny. They weigh less than a third of an ounce and they're only three to four inches long. They are literally light as a feather, small, and they can dart through grass and brush and trees, and it's difficult to chase them down, but in this case, I was successful. This tree swallow appears to be taking a break, and oh, oh, I got an itch, I got an itch. another pond at Kildeer. This is off County Road 123 and there is a great egret. I saw a yellow warbler right up through those leaves near the top of the canopy. I was able to get in and zero in on the yellow warbler. Hopefully the photo came out well. Here it is. Getting this shot seemed like an impossibility. I guess you could say I definitely got lucky. All in all, it was a great day of summer birding.